Hi all, Karthik here from Design School by WP Algorithm. This video is a part of playlist called Advanced Custom Fields Tutorials in which I'll show you how to do amazing things and build advanced websites using ACF, Advanced Custom Fields Plugin, Elementor and other tools such as Dynamic. Now in this video, I want to show you how you can do user registration and let users even edit their information or even submit posts or edit the submitted posts all by using ACF, Frontend Forms and Elementor. Now all the tools mentioned in this video are completely free so you can use Elementor free, ACF free and there's a free plugin for ACF that we'll use to achieve the free user registration and also free frontend post submission in WordPress. I'll show you how it's done. So the first thing that you need to do is to have advanced custom fields plugin installed on your site and the second plugin that you need to have is called ACF Frontend Forms. You can search for ACF or you can also type Advanced Custom Fields and it's this one which is ACF Frontend Form for Elementor. This works natively with Elementor so it gives you an Elementor widget that you can customize. I'll show you that in a bit. So make sure you install and activate this and also have Advanced Custom Fields. Now if you're new to Advanced Custom Fields you can check out the beginner's guide in the advanced custom fields tutorials playlist okay now that you have advanced custom fields and ACF frontend form for Elementor installed the next thing that you need to do is to go ahead and create a form now if you're working with the native WordPress user registration you don't have to create custom fields for it so click on add new add a new page and this page I'll just call it register so anyone can access this page and simply submit the form using ACF to register as a user of our website. I'll hit title and I'll just click on edit with Elementor and that takes us to the Elementor interface. So once you're in the Elementor interface, you can click on the settings cog. Since we just want this as a registration page, we don't want header and footer so I'll click on page layout and change it from default to canvas so that we don't have header and footer all I need is the content and the form I'll just drag in heading widget and I'll call it registration or I'll just say register here or you can maybe align it onto the left however you like click on the widgets button again and under general you now find a new widget called ACF front end form simply click and drag it and that pulls in a form. Now the multi-step is a pro feature and this plugin actually has both free and pro versions but the free version is more than enough. You need to click on actions and we just want to create a new user. So you just click on this one and click on new user and that's the action and you can also choose what happens after the user submits it so you can actually reload the page or post or you can redirect him to a URL or you can actually redirect him to the newly created user profile however you like I'll just reload that I'll click on fields and you can customize the title of the form and you can also customize the text of the button so I'll say create or I'll say register so we customize that click that again now since we selected new user a user field pops up so I'll just click on that and you can choose the role for this user and it can be contributor or a subscriber never make a new user as admin because he has chances to scrope your website I'll just choose the role of the user you can also let or hide WordPress admin for him so you can pick the role I'll actually hide the WordPress admin so even after he tries to log in or access the WordPress frontend he'll be redirected to the home page or maybe you can redirect him to a custom dashboard page which you created we'll do that in another video but just saying I'll just simply hide WordPress admin and you'll see what happens and you can choose which fields appear on the front end now if you're actually creating user using standard WordPress fields well you can simply pick the fields that you want him to pick such as I want him to pick his username I want to pick let him enter his password of course I have to let him enter his password also I want to let him enter his email if you don't want to show this field in here you can simply click on none so that will hide that field I want him to pick 
username password and email that's it i'll just hide rest of the fields you'll see how that looks like now i'll update since we updated this page we can actually re reload this to preview that or we'll open up so i opened up the register page it's front end i'm not logged in as you can see let's register ourselves so i'm actually registering as a new user i'll say jj username i'll password is also jj email be mail.com and you also have to make sure that you enable wordpress anyone can register option under uh, settings else you can't do this click on register and it says the post has been updated we have to actually customize the text i can simply view it from here so if i click on all users i can see that the user is registered since we just let him choose his username password and email only those fields will be filled now the first name and last name are missing and few other fields will be missing such as bio if you want those fields so if you want your user to actually pick those fields you can simply click on user and under user fields you can choose these fields i just set it to none or custom now what about custom fields right if you are doing typical wordpress registration without creating any additional fields for users you can simply do this but what if you want to add or what if you have added few fields few custom fields to the users just to spice up your website so let's say i'll click on custom fields i'll create a new group of fields i'll call it user fields i'll click and let's say the first field i want to add is called hobbies so i want users to specify their hobbies the field name will be prefilled and i'll let him do that using a wiswick editor so i pick this so this is the first field and the second field i just want him, the user to pick his mood so i'll type mood here and this i'll actually make it a select and the options will be good bad and ugly so he can pick from any of the three moods you can add anything else you can also let him specify his age maybe you can do some complex logic using age so you can restrict posts and stuff like that so i'll also let him enter his age and this should be actually a number so those three fields are my custom fields and while setting conditions instead of post type i'll just click on the drop down and i'll pick user form and the user form is while adding or editing the user so when you're doing or adding or editing the user using the typical wordpress interface you'll find these forms so when you as an admin do this you you'll find these fields as well and apart from that i also want user to access this when he is not logged in right so i just want a user or current user is equal to viewing from front end the second option is to make these fields appear on the front end form that we have here the first field is to let admins choose these fields if admins are actually creating the user so that way you have the flexibility to either create users yourselves or maybe users can register themselves using the front end forms i'll hit publish now i'll click on users i'll delete this or let's add a new user i'll call him kk some email for that first name kk last name kk and i'll click on show password i'll also make this kk i'll confirm the use of weak password i don't want this you can choose the rule and here you can see that the custom fields that we just created appear over here right so i'll enter my hobbies so something like that i can also highlight this since this is a wiswig editor i have all the options you can highlight this and mood i can pick from here age i have to enter number so i'll just click on add user and the new user will be created with those fields so if i view that user or if i click on edit it will show all his fields in addition to the custom fields that we assigned to the user form so these options will be safe whenever you create a new user and these will also be available on the front end the warning is gone now we also have the custom fields here let's create a new user i'll call it gg 
password will be gg email gg at the rate mail.com some dummy entries and hobbies so something like that mood is good for me right now age maybe 26 and I'll click on register and the user has been registered now you can check it on the front end so on the front end if I try to edit or access the dashboard watch what happens it will ask me to log in so it's gg gg and when I click on login I'm actually not taken to the dashboard but rather redirected to my home page I'm still logged in so I can do stuff such as editing posts that I've created or view posts but I cannot access WP admin because that's what we've specified in the front end form right so under permissions and for the user we just hid the WordPress admin area you can also log him as a new user and that's really great now if you don't see the form on the front end if it's blank you have to click the form click on permissions and you can set who can view this form you have to either choose all users or logged out user since this is a registration form user will not be logged in yet so you have to permit it for all users or logged out users or you can simply let logged out users view this form right so that way they're only registering and they won't be able to register when they're logged in so something of that sort and we have to actually update the submit message so so something like that you can update that now this is to create a new user with the custom fields and what if you want to actually edit an existing user so obviously the first thing should be to authenticate so verify if the user has enough permission to edit the fields right so how can you do that so under actions instead of new user you can simply choose edit user and once you choose that you can click on fields and you can say edit user and the submit button text has to be changed now and user you have to choose what you want to edit obviously you want the user to edit after logging in so I'll, you have to pick current user and you can choose which fields you let the users edit you can't obviously let username edit password maybe if you want password you can let it I'll just leave all these I'll refresh this again so that the custom fields are actually reflected in the Elementor interface as well and under ACF field groups we have to choose user fields action is edit user and under user so those custom fields will show up I'll just not show any of the fields to edit any of the default fields to edit I'll update this and permissions who can see this well only logged in users because you're letting users edit this right so you can only let logged in users see it I'll remove the role since I'm logged in in this another browser with the newly created username gg if I refresh the register page I can see that I now see options to edit my fields and it actually pre-fills the fields that we have created for this user so dance and hustling let's add a new field so something of that sort I'll choose my mood from good to bad I'll click on edit and now it says you're registered I think it should be changed to you're updated so if I view that user's information so this is the user right I'll click on all users I think this is the user I'll click on edit and you can see that all those fields are reflected here and the mood is changed from good to bad you can also change the age so that's how you let users edit their information I actually use the same page you have to actually create a separate front-end page to let users edit so one page to let them register using front-end and one page to let them edit their own information and since you've blocked users access to dashboard even if they try to type WP admin your website.com forward slash WP admin they won't see the dashboard but rather they'll be redirected to the front-end like this so the only way that they can edit their information is by typing that URL or maybe you can give edit information in the header so links to login logout and edit information you can place them in the header so that the user can simply click those login logout or edit his information all by using front-end using free elementary ACF free 
and this free front end forms now not just users you can actually let him create or submit post in fact let's do that so i'll create another page and this is similar to a user except you'll have fields that you need for a post i'll call it create i'll click on edit with elementor the process is the same except you customize the actions i'll close this off again i'll change the layout from default to canvas so that only that is visible let's drag in the form which is under general or you can also search for it it's this one is your front end form drag it in and the actions i just want him to add a new post you can change the submit message again fields which fields you want to add i just want to show the default field group and you can customize and you can choose what happens when the user submits the post so it, you can let it publish itself or you can actually change it to pending review and you can choose which post type that should be so you can also choose custom post type but we'll just choose post for now and the post term you can also choose post terms click on post again and you can choose various options for it so the title can be custom one or the default one you can show him the post content field you can show him featured image field served field you can also show him category so basically you can show him everything that you want on the front end so that's the difference right and the url is wpfreedom.com forward slash create so it's your website dot com forward slash create so that is the url that the user need permissions again we want logged out users or all users to access this right you can also set media permissions and i think that would do now if you access that url type that url we are taken to the front end submission form so it's also showing the custom field because we didn't limit that so i have to click on field groups i have to edit the user fields right i'll update this now we won't see those custom fields for this because those are the fields that we set and now all we see are the title post content and stuff so he can simply pick he can pick a category he can pick a tag and click on submit and that post will be submitted now if i try to view posts from here you can see it's pending and you as an admin or you can assign it to an author or an editor to do this task so that's how you do front end submissions front end post submissions front end registrations and you can also let users edit their information all by using front end form which is a free plugin for acf acf itself and elementor so that's really neat and that's it for now hope you guys enjoyed this stay tuned and this video is a part of playlist called advanced custom fields tutorials i have more like these coming up real soon stay tuned for that i'll talk to you in the next one until then peace